Uh, good afternoon, this is Jeff at Budroom here. This afternoon I'm making some cherry jam. It's the first time I've ever tried cherry jam, so uh, I was down the supermarket and, and I had a feed of these cherries, and they're absolutely beautiful, and the price wasn't too bad. And I thought, well, why not just grab some and make some jam out of them? And I was a bit intimidated about the prospect of cutting the seeds out of them, but so I've been about the last hour and a bit uh, just cutting all these up but, uh, and uh, my strategy is I'm going to use uh, about two thirds of a cup of raw sugar for every cup of fruit I've got and I'm going to put the juice and the zest of one lemon in there and, and cook. I think what I'll do is I'll put about half a cup of water in the fruit and just simmer it for maybe a quarter of an hour before I put the sugar in so I'll measure, up, measure out the sugar first and uh, work out how much I've got to use and then just cook the fruit first and then put the sugar in after. So I've only got these last few to go. I'm aiming to get about a kilo and a half of chopped up fruit and I've got a packet of jam setter which I'll use. Maybe I might need that to let it sit, make it sit. I'm hoping this is going to be a really nice jam and it'll be worth the effort. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll come back when we... So what? So what? Okay. Okay, we'll be back here and I've, I've measured out the fruit. I've got seven cups of fruit and I've uh, put it in the saucepan and I've let it simmer for about 15 minutes with half a cup of water and I've got this beautiful um, soft fruit here. And so I've got uh, four and two third cups of uh, raw sugar I'm going to add to it. So I'm just going to put that in there and add that. And I've got, excuse me, I've just got... Um, the juice and the zest of one lemon. So I've really taken all the zest I could and squeezed every bit of juice out because uh, I normally put one, the juice of one uh, lemon for one kilo of sugar. So I've got about one and a half kilos of fruit, or one kilo of fruit rather. Uh, so I, I, I use uh, lemon juice and lemon zest in every jam that I make. Uh, it just seems to give everything a nice tang. And my uh, rule of thumb is uh, one, the juice and the zest of one lemon for every kilo of fruit. Uh, that's, that's what I use, regardless of what fruit, what, what jam I make. So, uh, so what we'll do is I'll let that uh, simmer and cook for a while and uh, we'll come back. Right, Dave, I'm still here making this uh, black cherry jam. And, I'm, and I, was, well, I want you to please bring the camera over here and just put the camera in there and I just want to show how beautiful it, look, it looks. Uh, I just want to talk about fruit and all that sort of thing. This is, you know, normally you relate jam to um, using fruit that you get for nothing or virtually very cheap or, or leftover fruit. Uh, but this here, it, it, we paid a bit of money for this fruit and um, and I'm not even worried about the cost of it because I think it's just going to be a really nice jam. It smells and, really nice. Yeah, uh, and I'll just have a little taste of it. So uh, I'm just going to let it simmer for about another half an hour or maybe 20 minutes and um, put a packet of jam setter, which is packed them in there and cook it for about another five minutes and then um, see how it looks How it looks then. So, <laughs> get out, cool. Right, uh, so we just... Uh, I've added the pectin, the uh, jam setter to it, and I'm just letting it uh, boil fairly, fairly solid, and uh, you can see that foam coming to the top. But the uh, thing I want to point out is the rich colour of it. It just looks so rich. Anyway, so we'll come back when I've done the test on the coal saucer, and uh, we'll do that. And here I've done the coal saucer test, and um, it's got a nice getting skin on it and it's um, you can see the drip on the spoon so it wants to hang in there so it tastes absolutely beautiful you had a taste don't didn't you well, yeah, it's it's really, nice. really nice yeah so I'm looking forward to looking forward to trying some of this on my breakfast tomorrow morning so I think it's going to be pretty exquisite okay well this is that's the good okay well uh, we'll be this is this, the uh, next day after I made this jam and I wasn't really happy with it. I, I sort of kidded myself into thinking that it was uh, the right consistency but it turned out it was too thin and it was almost like stewed 
Jerry's in a, a heavy syrup. So what I did, I actually bottled it all out, but uh, so I ended up emptying all the bottles back into a smaller saucepan, and I uh, blended it with a hand blender, and I put another half a packet of jam soda in it because, ad admittedly, I did have one and a half kilos of fruit, and um, one packet only really does one kilo of fruit, so I added another packet of jam soda and uh, let it boil for about another eight minutes. And, uh, and and look at look at what turned out. Beautiful. Now that looks like that jam. That looks like jam, yeah. So the blending did the trick. Uh, like I said in at the very start of this video, this is the first time I've made black cherry jam. So anyway, that's really nice. The uh, lemon juice and the lemon zest combined with the black cherries, and it's turned out really nice. Uh, Beautiful. Uh, uh, I know some people take this this gum off it, but just please let's put the video camera there. This, this gum, I had a taste of this gum, it tasted like beautiful jam, so I'm not worried about this gum. And a lot of people sterilise bottles, uh, but I've got a lot of freezer space, so what I do is I don't fill the bottles right up, and, uh, and then I just put, put the bottles in the freezer, and uh, I uh, label if I, if, label if I think I'm going to forget what they are, but, uh, and then I just take out each one bottle at a time when I'm about to use them, so we don't have any problems there. So uh, that's that's what I do with the jam. So I don't bother about sterilising jars, and I don't worry about taking the, the, the scum off. But every jam I make, it's a bit of a trial and error. So. All right, well, um, thanks very much for watching, and I, I hope I've inspired somebody to make some jam or some description. So uh, this black cherry jam turned out really nice. So uh, anyway, I'll catch you later. Bye.